Today we're going to talk about the Slamfire kit, release timelines, and Ragnaroktoberfest. Let's go ahead and kick things off talking about something some of you asked about in the comments of our last video, and that is the Atch Attachments Slamfire Kit for the Retaliator and Recon Mark II. This was the first successfully funded project on Project Orange, so that was a really exciting factor. Now, if you're active on Facebook groups like Nerf Modders Welcome, or uh, you browse through the Nerf YouTube channels and things like that, you've probably seen Atch Attachments work all over the place because he does some really cool things. Andrew came down to Texas to work with Ben, Kevin, and I on the final DFM and aesthetic design for his kit. Uh, we did multiple runs of 3D prints and a final full-blown CNC version of the kit getting it ready for production. Uh, him and Kevin worked very closely on the aesthetic portion, and Kevin spearheaded the whole video shoot, which was quite a challenge compared to our normal product videos. Um, if you haven't had a chance to check it out, that video is still on our YouTube channel, and it's pretty cool. I would definitely recommend watching it. If you saw that video, then you saw what this kit brings to the table. For those of you that love the Retaliator platform, but would like some of that Alpha Trooper Slamfire access, this may be something for you. Now, to get that Slamfire functionality on the Retaliator, some things need to be redesigned, like the trigger and trigger catch, and Andrew had spearheaded redesigning these and went through the process of changing his design for manufacture to something that would be more suited for injection molding, which was a process that involved redesigning certain parts like the trigger linkage and the trapezium piece that goes in there as well to get things ready for testing and production and all of that good stuff. And that leads us super smooth into our next topic, which is release schedules. This is something that's important to everybody, and we wanted to give you a bit of a rundown on it. Now, I feel like there's a lot to go in here, so I'm going to try and keep it concise, but hopefully an image will help along with this process. Well, it's not uncommon that during production runs of things or getting things ready for production runs, there may be a lot of back and forth and revisions and extra work that has to be done to get things right and ready. When you add to the fact that Orange Modworks has been working on not only the Slamfire kit, but also the Longshot Fusion kit at the same time, that adds to things exponentially and creates extra weeks of work that goes into these things. Then on top of that, when you compound it with celery shutting down, as we talked about in the last episode, uh, all hands on deck was essentially the case there in terms of figuring out the next steps to take, which also added the time of these things. And then added to that, you have the Cybertech line, which we'll talk more about soon, I think. That is something the team has been working on hard as well. There's a lot of factors that went into figuring out what timings worked. When we looked at all of the best options for how to use our time with these delays, focusing on Cybertech was something that allowed us to still have forward progress while waiting for resolutions on the Longshot Kit and the Slamfire Kit. That way something could still be getting done while waiting for those things to be resolved and allow us to move forward when available. Now, I am happy to say that we are ready to move forward with the production of both of those kits. So do want to say a big thank you for your patience on this one. We are glad that things are moving forward and we wanted to share that with all of you. So the release timeline is looking like this. Starting April 7th, Project Orange backers will begin receiving their backer codes and will be able to purchase the product at the same discounted price from the Project Orange listing. And backers will also receive all the bonuses that were originally promised on Project Orange, so don't worry about any of that. The Longshot Fusion Kit and Slamfire Kit will then begin shipping on April 14th to those Project Orange backers. And take about five business days for all these packages to be processed and shipped, so you just have a, a rough idea of what to expect on that end. And then the regular release will begin on April 28th for everyone else that is interested in purchasing. As some of you may have noticed, I am wearing my Ragnar Oktoberfest shirt from the event that took place in October. And we did do an event recap video on that, but it was more of a highlight reel of things that happened during the weekend. And Jun wanted to take some time to talk about his experience and what it meant to him. So let's send it over to Jun for that. It had been about two years since our last big community event. And it was really great to get to Ragnar Oktoberfest and meet all of our favorite YouTubers and creators and community members. 
The community has come a long way since we first started Orange ModWorks and it was really awesome to see how inclusive everything was and just the creativity was off the charts. There was a lot of cool stuff at the convention. Uh, we stuck around for the Stalking Dead event, which we tried to film, but we mostly just took it in in all of its chaotic glory. And my personal favorite part of the whole event were the 5v5 competitive matches. And to me, that that is the future of the hobby. There is a lot of potential there. And the sportsmanship was fantastic. The refereeing, everything was run super well. And as a competitive event goes, that was really fun to watch. I want to give a big shout out and thank you to the organizers and moderators of Ragnarok Oktoberfest. This was one of the most well-run events we had ever been to, and I'm sure it was chaotic behind the scenes, but as an attendee and uh, someone who was running a booth there, it was super smooth. Everything was top-notch. And if you haven't had a chance to make it out to Ragnarok Oktoberfest, I would strongly suggest making the trip for next year's event because I'm sure it's going to be amazing. All right, that's it for this week's Orange Mod Works news. Leave a comment, let us know what you think, and we'll see you on the next episode.